तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इनफाइनाइट नॉलेज एंड आई एम बैक विद सम यूनिक सिम्युलेशन स्पेशली फॉर पावर सिस्टम एंड दैट आई हैव डन इन द सिम्युलिंग सॉफ्टवेयर ऑफ मैटलैब वर्जन 2021 यू कैन यूज एनी वर्जन फॉर मेकिंग दिस सिम्युलेशन सो व्हाट इज दिस सिम्युलेशन इज एक्चुअली कंटेन एंड वॉट एक्चुअली द इंटेंस ऑफ दिस सिम्युलेशन the basic simulation the basic intents of this simulation is to make a apfc now what is apfc apfc means automatic power factor correction system so why it is required why it is required it is actually required in industries why industry because in industry your inductive load inductive load is very high the high amount of inductive load is there in the industry and due to this high amount of load then specifically inductive load that cause a very very bad effect very adverse effect on power factor and which is it is uh, it's reduce your power factor due to this inductive load high amount of inductive load your power factor is drastically reduced and if your power factor is reduced and if your power factor is low in your system then what you need to do you need to uh, charge some extra money you, you need to pay some extra tariff according to standards that is different in this different state or in different countries so in 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 india if you are consider power factor so your power factor should maintain more more than 0.95 if it is less than 0.95 then you need to pay the penalty okay so to maintain power factor near to 1 we are using power factor correction system and what is it it's contain a capacitor banks these are some capacitors bank that is actually operated according to your load condition and this is your load this is your load and this is your uh, power factor corrective system and you can consider it is a apfc in industry they call apfc so uh, just i am giving you some overview this is your supply source and this is your measurement unit according to this measurement unit i have calculated some uh, uh, complex system and made some complex systems it is not as complex as you are thinking uh, and this is uh, your uh, actual power factor for this specific system and this is your angle phase angle cos phi <laughs> okay so right now it is a point nine and uh, uh, these are loads these are loads some specific load that i have designed for specifically high high amount of inductive load or you can consider very high amount of kvr reactive load okay and this is just a separation purpose because it just indicate this part is uh, left side part is for apfc right side uh, right side part is your load now uh, i have considered this is a major load and uh, these are some increase as per your uh, this is a steady load this load is remain in circuit 24/7 but this load this three load will come into picture after some time or every time when a uh, industry is working on its peak position is maximum capacity so in every condition in every load scenario for all this load scenario your power factor should be maintained more than 0.95 okay so for for maintaining it i have designed some system and that is also operated by this is also operated by this uh, Uh, uh this simple logic and in, in which some delay is also provided to switch on and off uh, or to give some tolerance okay or unnecessary switching to reduce unnecessary switch so first of all what am i doing i am just removing the op operation or the starting of uh, the starting of this apfc apfc okay this capacitor this is all is started from this uh, this switching and i have removed it why i have removed it because i want to show the actual uh, cap actual power factor when there is no any apacity there is no any capacitor there so i am starting the simulation and uh, and in step by step i am increasing load so this is for this load this is for second load scenario this is for third load scenario and uh, uh, this is for fourth fourth condition so all, there is no load in this system right now. there is no load in the system now, right now and i am simulating i have started the simulation okay so there is no load in the system so everything is off you can see here 0000 zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero means it is off and these are breakers when there is one it will operate when there is zero it will close uh, it will remain open when there is one it will close okay 
so now there is no no any load so we are getting 0.866 uh, power factor but whenever i increase some load okay so you can see drastically your power factor is reduced from from point uh, from point 0.8 to point 0.6 so it is not recommended value now again your load is increased so it is again changing again it is reducing again your load is increased so for different loading condition for different kvr your power factor is uh, uh, it's very low you can consider your power factor is 0.6956 yes according when i increase the <coughs> increase this uh, load the power factor is improved because uh, so there is some reactive as well as inductive component as well as a uh, passive and active both component are there so according to conditions your power factor is changed but this is not a recommended power factor 0.6956 is not recommended you need to maintain your power factor nearly 0.99 or 0.998 so now what we will do now what we will do we will go through according to our logic and uh, that logic will start and stop what what it will do it will start and stop this capacitor bank specifically uh, for specific uh, according to specific load for this load for this specific load uh, this will operate for second one second one will operate for third one for third one third one will operate and fourth one fourth one will operate. okay so i am again uh, set back the simulation as per previous one and uh, previously your power factor is very nice you can see here it is a uh, uh, it was a point uh, point six nine now just compare what happened okay uh, so now we are back to our uh, uh, previously simulation and this load is perfectly set as now there is no any load so that's why we are getting uh, some random values and that is according to our loads in our source scenario and once i start this load so now this load is come into picture that's why our power factor is reduced and your phase angle is increased as your angle is high your power factor is low and after a some time delay uh, this breaker will operate at one okay so then this will operate at one by some delay this is a delay scenario and once this delay is completed we are getting one here it is means that this this breaker is closed and this capacitors bank the first capacitor bank come in the picture and that improve our power factor so your power factor is very good it's a 0.9842 and your phase angle is 10.21 now i am again increasing some load in my industry so that's why i get slightly increased in my uh, 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 phase angle and uh, slightly reduction in my power factor but after some time delay this will operate it and your power factor is again come to picture okay so yeah, this operated and this is a very small amount of reactive load so there is no any major variation in the power factor so uh, this load is step by step this reactive load is step by step increased and uh, this is a minimum load this is a medium load and this is very uh, high amount of reactive load and uh, now uh, i am increasing my uh, <coughs> load <coughs> so again previously it was 0.98 it is reduced to 0.92 but once this simulation uh, this uh, this uh, APC, apfc started your power factor is again come in the uh, value okay so it's a 0.999 and and your angle is very reduced here so 1.4 so it's a very very good power factor 0.999 you are very nearer to one so you can consider the power factor is one for this load. and if you want to see exit change in the uh, power factor you can see here so as i am increasing my load you can see here this final condition as i am increasing my load my power factor is reduced and as i starting my load my power factor same as previously same as here also hmm. okay so uh, this was previous condition there is no any load once your load come in the picture your power factor is reduced and as at this position at after some time sometimes means eight to seven seconds after eight to seven seconds it is an intentionally delay that i have applied due to unnecessary to, to get rid of unnecessary switching of the apfc as this position as this position as your apfc come in picture your power factor is again improved and you can see here 
this has some very slightly damping and it come in the pitch it's come in the uh, steady state value and again at this position also you can not a uh, very slight damping and your power factor is come pitch depth in a perfect value okay so just last one just last one is again. and as i am increase my further load my power factor is again very reduced 1.992.96 okay, so it is in the limit but we need to maintain it 0 0.99 and after some time this will operate it and again your power factor improve okay so this is one and your again power factor is 0 0.9939 so it is also in limit and 0 0.99 power factor is very good power factor so according to this way uh, uh, you can make or uh, this type of uh, power factor improved uh, simulation or apfc simulation in matchless if you want this simulation this is available in description box and if for any matlab project or any microcontroller project you can connect with me through the email id that is given in the description box for any type of hardware project electronic project for any type of matlab simulation project uh, you can connect with me or even i am uh, giving you my final year uh, playlist specifically for final year student that is also given in the description box by going through that videos you will get to know about how you can make a final year project and which type of project the industry as well as college require from final year so i am just wrapping this video and uh, you can see here everything is very clearly and uh, the calculation part for this uh, this uh, specifically for this uh, capacitor each and every value i have calculated so uh, you can get that uh, calculation handwritten calculation pdf in description box also so thanks for watching this video and if you have any query just comment it i will definitely read again thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon